Alrighty, alrighty wrong. This is your main man, your main host and everything you know and love, King K Man the First. We are here, we are alive, we are alive once again. On another month, Judgment Call Mondays with your boy Yagami. What's going on, Yag? We got a lot to do. Juggling with two cases, even though we haven't been in uh, Yokohama in a minute, the last two episodes. But I think this might be the time to go back. I don't know. We we have to see see how this story is gonna go. We are now on chapter six. Converging heat. A lot of shit going down. I'm pretty sure they're going to show the replays, but I would like to thank everybody for tuning in to this series, uh, the Judgment Call series between Judgment of the first game and Lost Judgment. It's been pretty lit, at least for me. I don't know about you guys, but I I love it. I love it a lot. So I definitely appreciate those who have watching and watched the. Uh, you know, the YouTube shorts and TikToks of Josh McCall Mondays, and it's just it's been pretty fun to do it. I've been doing a lot of creative shit with it, but I just wanted to say I appreciate you guys, and hope you continue on. Hit the sub, subscribe to Shy Town Gamers, that's where most of these streams are being located at, and then of course, follow in, uh, if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch, that would be fantastic. I definitely appreciate you. Now, without further ado, Chapter 6, Converging Heat. Show the recap. A previously unseen link is established between the Groper and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion. And by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. Hiro Mikashiba's murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle, took him to an abandoned building, and gravely injured him. Then, around 7.30 a.m., the time frame when Ahara killed Mikoshiba, the other conspirators were probably nearby, even though they weren't on camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ahara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. The stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train. The same one Yui Mamiya was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ahara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Mamiya? Ahara standing on the train, the guys who kidnapped Mikoshiba. How did some troubled cop manage to recruit so many allies? 
Well, one person that comes to mind who might be the key to all this is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying, and she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Those trespassers at the murder scene were also from Kurokawa. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Uhara's murder accomplices? If we consider Yokosawa the central link, that's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshiro-kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ehara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. I'm hoping that's not the case. Why is that? It's just... She's a really good teacher. She's passionate, responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past. And a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikushiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. I'm going back to Ejinsho tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa-sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy, and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. A third year jumped off the school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. A bullying suicide from 13 years ago, did Sawi-sensei. Ah, uh, sorry. Sawa. Sawa sensei mentioned that too. I'm correct. Student lived but remained in a coma to this day. Actually, Sawa sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's gotta be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be vice minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusumoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Above most government officials, vice ministers. This lady is quite in a position of power in the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Health has been like on some crazy conspiracies from the first game of judgment and then now here and now that it's mentioned about the ministry of health why else they'll be behind this well do you remember the uproar in the health ministry when vice minister ichinose got arrested apparently his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos which is when kusumoto san got tapped to lead they couldn't afford another criminal scandal so her promotion was out of the blue. She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure, very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. Okay, so Kusumoto's son. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were hmm. classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. 
And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsurukun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa Sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. Big time. Guess I head back to the office for today, but this has been a lot. Like case after case after case, all these buildups. New. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I can be in my skateboard. Box, okay. Press on the couch. Wait a minute. What? Yo, you took your sweet time. I got the gist of it. You're going to Ijinsho, right? To meet with Sawa Sensei? Kaito san, you do realize that only I can meet her. You can't get into the school. I know, but if you end up taking it off campus, can you at least call me this time? Don't you understand the situation? Sawa Sensei might be tied to murder. Huh. <laughs> you sure you understand it? Come on. She would never do that. That a fact? So happens, I'm a great judge of character. Especially when it comes to women. Ah, oh, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to. <laughs> I don't know why you would forget. Kaito loved that chick. Randomly waking me up and shit. Alright. Now I think we're going to homo. Oh, come on. Yoko Homa. We're about to go to the train station. Oh, we could take a cab. Yeah. You know, it's always nice when people just bump into me. Where the taxi? Where the taxi at, man? So you loser. me Hell yeah Where are the goddamn taxis at?
I dropped that. We didn't get in the back. Chinatown. Can't face Tsukumo on an empty stomach. Never a dull day for you, huh, Kaito-san? It's a selection, man. I've already worked sure out the it is. I figure if I hit four or five places a day... What? What's up? Check that out. It's Akutsu. What the hell? Kamurocha thugs are looking pretty out of place here. Yo! Akutsu! What are you fools doing in town? Hey, don't ignore me. It's Kaito. Fancy seeing you here. I'm kind of busy here, man. Catch you later. What an yeah. asshole. Cutthroat. Chincho's a long way from home. And he's traveling with a small army. Would he have come all this way because of us? Nah, we just caught him totally off guard. He's not out here for us. Gotta be something else. But something's not right if they're just cruising around. Hmm. That part. It's gotta be an RK operation. He brought too many guys for it to be something more personal. Yeah. <laughs> Kamurocho streets can be tough. Maybe they gave up. Hmm. Well, whatever they came out here to do. We ought to keep our noses the hell out of their business. But you better hustle. You're gonna be late for class. I'll catch you after school. Gotta make it to the school. I mean, why the hell the gangs that we dealt with be coming to our even though we only here to help out uh our old friends stick them out. <laughs> One that we always call him by a fake name. I forgot. We be doing that every time too. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! I'm going the wrong way. Ah, they wouldn't let me do it. on the second floor. I didn't forget it this time, finally. So, yeah. So 
Sawasan. Oh, uh, what is it, Yagami-san? Sensei, do you have a minute? I saw the video of Mikoshiba-kun. So you did. That video, right? Yeah, that sickening. I thought Ehara-san was convicted for a sex offense. How could he be in that video killing Mikoshiba-kun? But then that video looked so real. Most likely it is. As you unfortunately had to witness, Ehara-san committed murder with his own two hands. Which means as far as the groping that day goes, there's some deception at work. A deception? Are you familiar with Ehara-san's victim in the case? Her name is Yui Mamiya. I don't think I recognized her, no. Thirteen years ago, she attended Kurokawa Academy. Her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. Yui Suzuki? Just a minute. Are you saying she was the one Ehara-san groped? So you do know her, then? Were you two classmates? We were, in our third year of high school. I had a hunch. You didn't know she was the victim of that whole incident? I mean... It it's just so hard to believe. Does this all seem like a wild coincidence to you then? Your old student's father gropes one of your high school classmates at a station with three million daily travelers. What are you implying? I'm saying your old friend Yui might be cooperating with the Harasan, as in she only played the part of a victim. She might have even known it was all to hide a murder. What? But why? Why would she do that for him? That's what we're still trying to figure out right now. From where I'm sitting, Sensei, you're connected to Ahara and Yui Mamiya. I just need your help figuring out what that connection is. Yagami-san, please. Are you implying I was some kind of liaison between them? Well, Sensei, what was your relationship with Yui Mamiya? Were you close? Or would you say classmates covers it? The two of us were never really that close. Mm. To be honest, I didn't really like the group of kids she hung out with. I guess you could say we didn't have the same interests. When was the last time you saw her? Did you have a high school reunion by any chance? They held a reunion around the time I graduated from college. But I didn't feel like going. That same class bullied a kid into jumping off the roof. So if that's the case, you haven't seen any of your classmates since you all graduated from Kurokawa? That's right. Okay then. The thing is, Ahara-san and Mamiya are connected. It is kind of loose, but it's there. They have one thing in common. What? In both of their pasts, someone they knew was bullied to the point of attempting or committing suicide. Ahara-san lost his son, Toshiro-kun, and as for Yui Mamiya, it's her classmate, Mitsuru Kusumoto. That could be a factor, especially for Mamiya. It's possible that Ahara-san would be a sympathetic figure to her. Maybe enough to help construct an alibi for his revenge. It's possible she only played the part of a groping victim. What do you think? Does it have any merit, or is my theory full of holes? Even if you're on the right track... Um, Sawa-sensei? We're just waiting on you to start the staff meeting. Oh, sorry, I'll be right there. What happened 13 years ago at Kurokawa? That might be the last piece of the puzzle. What about Yui Mamiya? How'd she react when Mitsuru Kusumoto tried to kill himself by jumping off that roof? I'm sorry, I'm already late for my meeting. I'm trying to ask you about a murder here. To Ahara, every unanswered question is a victory for that man. He's only a step away from walking for it. And I know Mamiya had other conspirators. It took more than one person to murder Mikoshiba. They're still at large, even as we speak. I'll be honest. I came here today with a suspicion that you might be more involved in this murder than you're letting on. A suspicion? Nothing you've said has made me feel any better about it. And what should I do about that, huh? I just want you to tell me how are Ahara-san and Mamiya connected beyond what I've already figured out. I think you have the key to that answer, even if you don't know that you're the one holding it. It's like a lock, and until I figure out how to get through it, I'm gonna keep picking at it. I told you, 
I'm late for a meeting. I'll be here when you get back. Have a good meeting. <sighs> Suit yourself. Such bitterness, Jesus. He's a little bit aggressive there, uh. Don't you don't you think, uh, Yagami? Leave high school. Tell Cyrus all about Sawe Sensei and Maima. Hey, Sari san, it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class, and they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Hoshino kun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsuru-kun jumped, as if he were running away. When hmm. he came of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Yes. And to top it off, Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Like he's proud of it. Maybe he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. The hell? Oh, would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza. So he never swore into it. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. <laughs> what? This guy? You recognize him? Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girls' bar. But we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would R.K. have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. But their leader, Soma, said something about Kawai having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshima, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamrocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Hmm. So we're going back to... We're back to back to back with Jesus. This is a lot. How was it, Sari san? What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Hmm. This is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawai, could it have something to do with our case as well? All about this guy, and he worked in a lady bar or lady lounge. Everything's connecting. All the spider webs are just dot 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 dot, and they have all the middle point to be like this is the root of the problem. Let's we'll see. I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino Kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawai. Wait, what? 
Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be Yagami-san all the time. Hmm. You going into the field? Sus. I get to play as Saris? Hey, yo! When did they do this? Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. This is you something. You mean you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawhi. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still. I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? Sim. Ah, <sighs> uh, cause he's in love, honey. He is in love. He loves you. You can't deny love. That's not what we do here. We don't do that. First, need to find some RK members. Unlike Yakuza, they are hard to identify by appearance alone. But not to worry. Times like this, it gives a good time to call the owner of Tinder. Not that kind of Tinder. The bar. If anybody was thinking of that, he's well connected. Okay. Oh, they at least fixed the sign. Thank God. Can't <sighs> going in us. Freaking silence on it. They just threw me off. We still got the same oh, chick. Is that sorry, Chan? I see. To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Talk's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Mm hmm. Sure. But order Let's a drink. See. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. Wow, so we're just using Tox freaking tab. So I'm tab. actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with RK? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh, Barely. please. You two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. Yeah, what's going on with this Riz game? Is that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> hey, yo! I have a bar. I'm with the bartender. Ooh, she's looking for me. I'm with the bar with her. It is. That's crazy. Anyhow. If you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. 
and Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. <laughs> but honey, we need to do something about your look. Some nice clothes and a little makeup, and you'd be unstoppable. Oh, we get to play dress up again. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Chuck told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. He already did that I've before. I've gotta admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> no, don't well, don't be I'm surprised. Sure You've done it before. Stop playing. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you got one. Oh, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay. Then leave the rest to me. Hold on now. Not only we get to walk around and play sorry son, but we get to dress her up again. Round number two. Sign me up, boy. Sorry son. We back at it this again, baby. <laughs> Ooh, it must be a good day. As there's two days left of my 26. Two days until my birthday. I get to play as this motherfucker. Fine ass. Japanese. Ho! Oh! Privilege is very guilty. I am very honored to do this again. To dress up sorry, son. <laughs> Baby, I love you. I love you to the day I die. What can we do this time? We ain't gonna get you to the last stress we did. We put on you. Yeah. We're gonna get some very squizzy tay. I'm digging so I gotta let me, let me, let me think here. Uh, too, too fancy. We face we're talking the gangs here, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to be too too fancy. We try to we try to do some, we try to set some standards. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. Um, we, we ain't trying to do no ballroom type shit. Now this, if I have to change the color. Can I change the color? Let me think. I'm thinking with this one. Oh, I can't. Can I change the color? I can't change the color. Gay! It's a little disappointing. It, only, it looks better on red. Like I, I, can, I can see it, the color with her. But I, I, I personally would love to see her in red. Red with this woman will make things so divine. Ooh. But we gotta work with the limited options we have. We ain't trying to go no ballroom dancing type shit. Most of these are like ballroom, you know. Oh, I, I am fond of that. I don't mind that. It's a little, it's a little romantic, you know. But if we really had to dress a certain way, 
it will probably it will probably be this to get some gang members attention or maybe this because it's a little exotic you know i wonder how cross favorite cross players be when they wear this and thinking like yeah i can see myself getting like show this to my hubby or whatever i can actually see this to be like very charming let's let's just do that for right now because i'm sad that i can't change the other Nah, no need. Oh, at least we can change up the hairstyle with the dress. Better than the last game, I'll tell you that. We want her to look right. Got one hairstyle that's like, okay, very suitable. Yeah, that, that'll work. Eyebrows fleet. I was never a fan of lashes, so no offense to women that wear eyelashes, all that glue shit. It, it's just not for me. I'm sorry. It's it's just not. Just not. Um. I think I did that. I, th I think I did either purple or I think I did this one. Gonna make the eyes sparkle, baby. Yes! Uh, do we really wanna do. I know. Okay, good on the cheek. I, I, for me, I'm not a makeup person. Like, my woman, I, I, I don't want that for her. But you know, for certain, certain women that actually knows how to pull off makeup, I give them respect because at least they they're clean they're respectable and they look like they could be you know good approach you know not too much <sighs> my loins nah no need for glass even though hold on she looks very nice in these we're kind of both, but this one's more cleaner. Um, but no need, no need glasses. Even well, technically she does wear glasses, but she can. Do a lot of I want her to look so innocent to where it'd be like, I must talk to her. Got the perfume. Now. Yeah, let's see. Okay. That one will work. Do we really? No, we don't need it. That's doing too much. What we can do for her nails? Her nails. Perfect. Alright, this is what we're going with. Oh no. We... I don't think I don't think this is necessary. But yeah. I don't think so. No. no. Don't need. 
No need for a necklace. Not for this kind of dress. I think we got it. What do you guys think? It's very stunning, baby. I love you. Very, very stunning. Sorry, sir. You don't have to be sorry or sour. Just be promising. That's all a brother can ask for. Do you understand me? Do you comprehend of what our chemistry is right now? I want you to capture it right now. There will be no other like you. You are The man of your dream. Because you are not a whore. You just dress. I love it. We're leaving. Before I get aroused. Oh, well. Would you look at that? Talk was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. Are you sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're Cut that self-doubt out. No. I'll be like a potion kid. I'll drop What's down that? two knees, goddamn. Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go uh, ahead and take a look. That girl look, baby. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I see you looking. I, I see you looking. It's been a while since I felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senrio Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. The fact that she's like literally playing this like solo without Yagami. Isn't it this way? Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, never mind. I can tell that she's not comfortable wearing those heels. If they would have gave her some flats, I'd be fine. She, she's the boy. I said boy. I said boy. Yabba dabba do up in this mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, check me out, boys. Check me out. I mean, I don't mind this dress though. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold. I don't mind it. If I get a Japanese chick, I'll be like, I'll be like, wear that one dress I like. <laughs> It'll be a wrap. It's a wrap. Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? Rory out for a drink? Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. There's a place my body runs. I'd be thrilled to see some ladies like you. Oh, 
Uh, I'm gonna put up a poll. Let's see. Let's see. I'm put up a poll. Is Cause this shit's fire, boy. She's fine. She is fine. Oh, uh, the just my type view. With our, uh, we don't want to be totally direct with them, right? Boys are just my type, actually. But are you really that into older girls? Me? I'm your type for real? Oh, what happened well, to your gullible. nose? Bro, take that band-aid off your nose. So tough and masculine. What's gotten into me? I am such a mess tonight. One too many, sorry, John. Don't worry, sorry, Sean. I love a hot mess. I'm one myself. I bet you are. Let's be real here. You're RK, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asked if you're in a... Oh, come on. It was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows. Anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be RK. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, you know? True. Guess we do got that RK swag. I mean, yeah. We're just out here playing the game, you know? <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if you ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. Yes, yeah, so he definitely came in with the save. I didn't know if she was really gonna be like like that or not. <laughs> I was actually scared. I was like, "Ooh, that, that's a little bit too direct." You know, you know how the common thread is. You know, because they're like women are not direct, and that's like the problem in society, kind of thing. But it depends on how direct you go towards something. Going towards a question like, "Hey, are you guys okay, right?" <laughs> Then, you know, suspicion ca catches up real freaking quick. No cap. As my eye is twitching. All right. You boys certainly talk a good game. RK knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the RK ladder then, huh? Not just the local chunks? Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. Shoot. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. That's yeah, true. Well, looks like everything's going well, so I know... We're RK. All I have to do is ask him about... RK has Kamrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Mm. Now the underground world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? 
A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh, yeah. Him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girl's bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> oh, well. Five years ago, he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Kangro Jump. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. Name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, there's trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa, mm. what do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? No, no. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. Hmm. Who knows, right? It was five years ago. Men and women. So it, it doesn't seem like a gang-related kind of thing. But honestly, who knows? This is a hard case. Especially when you really don't have nobody to be like, oh, it was her. There's really no blame to point out. So I don't understand. Kinda. Kinda understand. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van. Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? I mean, some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Mm. Well, if I know, it's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Why you uh, asked about that? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Mm. Shit. You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawhi. So who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? Let go of her! Who sent you? <sighs> All right. Uh, this was not what I intended. Let's see how we can try to pull this off. Hmm. I wouldn't even give you my name. Now let go. Threats and violence aren't going to work on me. Oh, what have we here? Got ourselves a bad bitch all of a sudden. Bet she can't keep her hand from shaking. <laughs> That's just the excitement talking. Big talk for a chick dressed the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? What the? <gasps> oh! are popping up like roaches um no thanks needed just be careful on your own especially when you're beautiful thank you so much higashi san i just said you don't wait how do you know my name higashi it's me, shirosaki from genda law office it's been a while holy shit no way <laughs> Why he threw up both of his hands like, oh shit! I didn't realize. <laughs> Don't rest me! Sensei. I didn't recognize you. Look incredible.
Agashi, long time no see, Mike. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was Boy, the one who put Larry through the danger. Over. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. Former member of the Tojo clan. Like a brother to Kaito-san. And a Yakumi-san, too. Yeah, that's true. One of full arcane full time. He keeps up with his Yakuza uh, fashion trends. He's still wearing the same suit. It, it, I mean, it doesn't. It's not that fancy. Okay, it's not that fancy. If you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't. Yeah, he's an arcane manager. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Yagami, pick up the phone, goddammit! Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again. He's probably doing something. I'm pretty sure they're gonna show like. He was killed. Uh huh. Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims. That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right. Thanks. Oh. She already told him on it. So I guess I'll be waiting for her until the facility meeting ends. I wonder I always wanted to talk to you. Can you come by the club? Not too much trouble. Ah, uh, and this main story moves on to our kill some time. Well, technically, doing a side mission will kill some time, so why not? It's uh, I forgot where the facility is at the whole time. What did I say? Oh. In, I think it is in the, I think it's in the basement. And I can't ping it. Show me the way, map. Show me a different way. I'm not afraid of making fun of him. Simio. In the high school's basement. Yagami-san. Oh, Yagami-san, thank you for coming. Uh, yep, outside counselor for the MRC at your service. Yagami-san. Oh, congrats on that, Yagami son. Definitely better than being a cis bass eye. Was really laid into you, huh? She was all worked up the day before, ranting about busting that pervert. I guess so. Yeah, I almost ended up on the front page of the papers as some kind of high school creeper, thanks to her. Sorry. I ought to apologize for By that. By the way. So, I was ha. Uh, a musaka. <laughs> you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. yes. There's a rather nasty rumor about going around, and we're we're hoping you can help us with this investigation. Well. As a matter of fact, there's a possibility that the sugar baby incident is actually related to this rumor. All right, the sugar baby one, the one that was dating the older man for some shit. 
Alright, the urban legend. Somewhat recently, a large number of Hinchku, Hinchko teens have been engaging in lineat behavior. Illiniate. All these delinquency issues are flying under the radar without any authority figure catching lies. Which is surprising considering they really run the gummit, gamute, shoplifting, smoking, sugar babies, street racing, gambling, phone scams. Even more surprisingly, many of these cases are otherwise reputable students who decided to break bad out of the blue almost simultaneously hmm. that is rather strange the most intriguing part of the rumor though is that a single individual has enabled this criminal activity huh? you mean there's a mastermind behind it all or something at least in effect if the rumor is accurate, someone is running these students down a dark path. Where it is getting to the point where the sole person appears to be the entire source of all this delinquency. Oh. Sounds almost as some kind of urban legend. Apparently, Sierra High students refers him as the professor. The professor. I like to believe it's a reference to Sherlock Holmes' greatest nemesis, Professor James Morty. He's a mastermind of all sorts of criminal acts throughout London. And his debut story, he referenced as a Napoleon of crime. In other words, but perhaps it would be more accurate to refer to our own professor as the Napoleon of delinquency. So to sum it up. This is fascinating stuff, but you said it's all just a rumor so far, right? No. Well, the reoccurring theme is these rumors are specific enough to make me think there's something to them. Well. Apparently there is a secret website run by the professor, only in Sari, uh, uh, Sierra, Sierra Leo. Serial, serial killer. No. Serial high students can access. <sighs> I've identified some students who admitted that they know of the sites. They're not exactly opening up to me any further. Oh, uh, secret website, huh? What is it supposed to be? Some kind of message board. I always heard these wind up turning into a pit of uh, anonymous hate. Nothing but places for bullies. To get the kick. Yes. Likewise. However, these apparently are quite uh, unique features on the professor's website that gotten the students' attention. Mm -hmm. What kind of unique? feature. Well, the students wrote posts stating their desire for something. It sounds like the professor's appearance and grants their wishes. Unbelievable. Grants wishes? What do you think this is? I do not grant wishes. I am not the genie. <laughs> If anybody have watched American Gods, that's the reference. Anyway, that's absurd. No. May I remind you, this is only a rumor. But I imagine if some of these wishes are for answers on tests or a way to make easy money or to get revenge on certain individuals. Huh. Okay, this is now starting to sound a little bit more like a case than 
than an urban legend, but it is still awful hard to swallow. Yes. Yes, but sounds dangerous enough to merit investigation. Considering the hooligans that the professor seemed to surround himself with, it this is someone no high schooler should turn into should turn to for assistance. Bugs. I see. Oh, so he got hooligans? That's complicate things. Hey. Uh, what's a hooligan? The kind of a punk who pulls scams and runs shady businesses. Sort of like a yakuza, but without any of the rules and discipline. They can be a lot worse to deal with. Anti-gang laws doesn't apply. Don't apply to them. So they are hard to sweep up. More and more of them are popping up ever since the Tojo and the Omi disbanded. Right. Wow, I have no idea. Well. Seems like it. On a related note, I heard that the dance club Sugar Baby nearly got caught up in a dangerous situation. But some large vulgar men suddenly appear and offer her protection. Apparently, they were sent to serve as her enforcers. I'm surprised you know what they are called. <laughs> I read a lot of books. That sounds about right. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. Anyway. Any rate, considering the range of criminal activity we've already discussed, I imagine this hypo this uh, hi hypothetical operation in Hinchco will be quite a lut ludicrous. One. If I were to guess, in fact. It could very well be lucrative enough for someone to decide it's worth capitalizing on. Perhaps when the use of the mysterious frontman. Okay, so now we're talking about the professor might be using a smoke screen to, to let these thugs run their schemes. This actually sounds more plausible. Yes. You see now. From the right perspective, this urban legend actually appears rather mundane. All good for now. Might as well, I think I've got a solid grasp of the situation. Do you need anything new from me, or should I just keep it all with the dance club for now? Yes. No, please, just continue your efforts, thank you. In the meantime, I'll keep a... I keep after the professor's rumors and sniff out anything useful. I know already that you have your hands full, but depending on what I hear, what I hear, we may need you to infiltrate other communications as well. Sure. Just let me know when you need. Uh, huh. Oh, by the way, there's an app I recommend you to download if we're going to uh, get get more involved. What is it? It's a scheduling system to for tracking your activities and responsibilities. It seems popular amongst teachers who are also club of uh, advisors. I imagine it'll do you good, considering your increasing involvement in school life. School diary? What the? F okay. Interesting. Hmm. It's a lot of shady stuff going on in this school. Now that you mention it. By the way, Yagami san, I heard from the chairman that you have a lawyer's license. Yes, although I'm not practicing it anymore. What about it? No. Oh, nothing. It's just the thought of almost accusing a lawyer of being a voivu gives me the shears. <laughs> oh, ha ha. Think I could sue for defamation? 
Please don't. There you go. You did what you had to do. Did I kill the time? I still didn't kill the time? What the hell, man? What am I supposed to do? Did all these story stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, facility should be over now. Let's go back to the facility room. Yeah. She better be still here, bro. Be mad if she not. Sorry, Sensei. I'm on your ass. Move, kids. <laughs> Dirty iron. Uh huh? Where did she go? I knew the meeting was over. Where is she? Where's Rachel? <laughs> you have to come back, huh? Pardon me. Did you have business with Sawa Sensei? I do. Yeah. The faculty meeting's over, right? It just wrapped up. But Sawa Sensei went home in the middle of it, about an hour ago. What? Apparently, she got a call from her apartment manager saying her place was broken into. Oh. Broken into? She told me to tell you that if you came around. Okay, then. Do you think you could give me her contact info or something? No, I don't think I can. Mm. Oh, I'll just give her a quick call. One moment. Oh, better. Oh, she's not picking up. No, she's not answering. They're probably busy. But I guess she's home then? I'd say so. Her place is within walking distance. It is? Sawa Sensei lives in Ijincho? Uh, yes, <laughs> but I really shouldn't be giving that kind of info out. Sure. I appreciate the need for privacy. You've been a big help. Hmm, if her place is being broken into, it's a very strange timing for that. Maybe she, maybe they keep catching us talk. Who knows? Oh, it's, oh, 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 it's dark. Oh, no. No, 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 it's dark. Is it this way? No, it's back this way. Wait. Why it looks so? Well, they got the music all sus, like like something's about to happen. Someone. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get out of here? That leads out to the what you call it. Can they open the door? Talk to someone who knows the address? What the fuck? So I gotta talk to random people? Probably had to go I probably had to go back upstairs, don't know. Well, that's pretty game. I left the facility not too long ago. I probably had to go back in there and see if I can get any information out of anybody. Somebody must know something. You know. You know. Alright. Alright, that's uh. Alright. Alright. I guess I can't do nothing. Okay. So that's fantastic. How am I supposed to find out now? I gotta talk to somebody in the school to find out anything. Well, the if. Let's see if the chairman's still here. If anybody will know, he will know. Contact, I see this, uh, I'm going in. 
full blown circles, bro. What the hell is going on? Who is upstairs? I'm thinking like it'd be the same level as the faculty room with the with the principal's office. I guess it's not. Could be mistaken. Aha! Uh -huh. You're still here. I got a question for you, Mr. Chairman. If I can call you that. Seems like you may know some answers. Oh? What's the matter, yagami -san? Is there still something you need? Well, do you think you could tell me Sawa-sensei's address? Come again? Not too long ago, she got a call that her apartment was broken into. And another teacher tried to call her, but she wouldn't answer. So, what? Are you going to go check on her yourself? At her place? She's within walking distance, isn't she? I believe so. But this is a young woman, living by herself. I shouldn't be giving you her address without her permission. We're detectives. Give us a bit of time, I'm sure we can find out ourselves. But on the other hand, that wouldn't be best for either party now, would it? Then can't you just ask her yourself tomorrow? Chairman, you're aware of the Hiro Mikoshiba murder footage, right? Yes, of course I am. But from what I've heard from police sources, it's very likely that video was faked. Well, I have it on good authority it wasn't faked at all. So for the sake of argument, let's say the video's real. And that Ahara is the one behind having posted it deliberately. He's got the criminal affairs department saying it's probably faked. So the police are playing right into his hand. And let's say his motive in all this is to avenge his son's suicide. Justice for his bullying that he never got. Now wait just a moment. We proved in court that no bullying had taken place here. Sad as it was, the trial concluded that bullying wasn't what drove poor Eharakun to suicide. Actually, before Toshiro-kun killed himself, Sawa-sensei reported a bullying incident to his homeroom teacher. What? But at the trial, she wasn't able to testify to that. She had no choice but to deny the whole thing. From Ahara's perspective, that was unforgivable. And after all that, Mikoshiba was murdered, and now Sawa-sensei isn't picking up her phone following a break-in at her place. What are you implying here? It's like you're saying she's going to be next. I just want to check up on her. If it turns out the break-in isn't linked, I'll turn right around. And I'll make sure nobody knows the chairman gave me her address. Well... Fine. I understand. Hey, man. You gotta do what you gotta do, big fella. You're the only person I can talk to. That knows about the case and whatever else is going on in this goddamn going school. A lot, of, a lot of stuff is just happening, and then it's just like, you think it's like, yeah, this school is still innocent. No, the fuck is it not? No, it's not. There's still like tens of twenty of thousands of things going on here. Not including the school stories, as they like to say. School cases. <coughs> We already talked about the human body model that moves even when it walks around at night. Oh shit, I'm about to get into another side case, am I? Oh, oh good. I'm not. Hey yo, ain't y'all supposed to be at, at home? Why the hell y'all hanging outside at, at night like this? No one day in my business. Gotta go check up on me. Always sunset. Make sure she's not dead. That will not be cool. <laughs> oh man, that would have been cool if I was able to only do that with a car. One, two, 
Buck my shoes, three, four, give him some more, five, six, Scotty Pippen. I knew it was going to do that. Hell yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Hell yeah. All right, we're here. Saying all about. We ain't, we ain't, we're not doing that. We're definitely in on some real stomping grounds right now. Borderline illegal, but gotta see. All right, should be in this. Let's see what the result pulls out. Boom, boom. Random rain. Kawana? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> that was quick. I guess we couldn't ask for a better piece of bait. Kick us off, Akutsu. I gotta fire him. Man, what? That's chapter six? Bro, I did no fighting this whole time. That's crazy. Oh, man, this episode was a little disappointing. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This was a little disappointing. This was just mostly interaction and and uh I, I guess it's okay cuz we, we was able to chill with Sauri son, her getting dressed and then we get the returning of uh what the what name is Toro Higashi Higashi he's, he's still looking sharp you know as usual but he's still the same suit but that's crazy we didn't do no combat this time a little a little disappointing just a little bit I probably gonna have to do that for the next episode but we'll we'll take it as we leave it it doesn't matter so. As this is concluded for chapter six, we'll see you guys again next Monday for Judge Judgment Call Mondays. And by the time that Judgment Call Mondays happen, I will be twenty seven years old. My birthday's on Wednesday. On Odin's day, but it's also my day. We could we collabing. <laughs>
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Or somewhat did. Uh, like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all next time. King K-Man, the first. Signing off.